Hi guys, Namaste, Jai Hind, Jai Mata Di, and Jai Bharat. So uh, we were talking about Kalki, and uh, this is the next video with regards to uh, the same energy, the same uh, messages, and the same interpretation that we have been doing. And here we were talking about a Rakshasi. We were talking about a demon um, who Kal who the sages came and uh, told Kalki about, and Kalki decided to kill. Now. <coughs> here i did speak about kumkarna uh, i did speak about four generations so i did speak about kumkarna i did speak about nikumbha i did speak uh, speak about um, uh, kutudari the daughter and i did speak about um, the the vikanja the son but i forgot about the husband so now let's talk about the husband so the husband of this lady is called kalakanja kalakanja now here the meaning is very interesting because um, kala means a skill right kala also means time kala also means death kala also means fate and destiny kala also means when you when you pronounce it as per the spelling k a l a that also means black right and uh, when you take this as a meaning it means somebody who is skilled in the craft of black doing negative things who is skilled in the craft of bringing death to others and then hiding that death who is still in skilled in the craft of um, uh, making people's destiny black or negative and when you talk about kanja kanja means uh, kanja means lotus kanja also is actually a shrub um, uh, where there is a fruit that comes it has thorns also and there is a fruit that comes on it which with that fruit the medicines can be made and kanja also is a color now here the reference to this shrub <coughs> sorry the reference to the shrub with, with which the medicine can be made and it has thrones also is a reference where this person had have a, a capacity to bring out lot of criminals so he's keeping lot of criminals safe and uh, medicine can cure right so he has uh, so much of the information that it can cure all the negativity or it can cure very very major um negative people it can cure very very major uh, crimes uh, but it is keeping it with himself and then kanja means lotus and kala means black so this means black lotus which means totally opposite energy of lotus because lotus usually is enlightenment it is pink uh, but white white or pink <coughs> but this is black which means that against this is against lotus energy this is totally against the pink lotus energy so you can really relate that who this person is who's against the lotus energy who's into so much of black work dark work who's killing people who's changing fates and that that's the energy of this person now let's move forward and uh, when uh, kalki heard the story kalki said let's go let's go and kill this rakshasi so when kalki started his journey and he rested <clears throat> around um, uh, uh, for one night he traveled rested and next day he saw a river of milk so there was a white river a river of milk so kalki idly knows everything but he still had to ask so kalki asked the sages that what is this river about why is it white uh, so the sages said that uh, lord kalki this river is has been made by the milk of that rakshasi when she feeds her uh, son vikanja now think about this energy when she is feeding her son vikanja feeding is basically giving uh, resources right giving uh, money giving power giving the um ability to live um so here you can take it in a bigger way and when she's doing it for her son there is so much of things that are overflowing that it is actually coming out also it is actually impacting other people also it is actually impacting other lands also it is actually impacting other surfaces also now the magic is that they said that after every 7 hours there is a new river formed and the old river is freezed and it is actually <coughs> it actually becomes a sheet of white ice now here uh, there is a reference as to how frequently they are doing these crimes how frequently they are doing these wrong things and how they are hiding every crime under this ice you don't know what is beneath us beneath snow or ice right so when it is a white sheet of ice you don't know what is beneath it what is it made of and uh, that is where they are creating doing those crimes that they are hiding those crimes under that sheet and it is happening every 7 hours and 7 is basically a magical number which means that with a great frequency it is happening right now 
here uh, then they said that uh, then they started looking for the rakshasi and with the help of sages the rakshasi was found they spotted the rakshasi she was sitting on a mountain and feeding her son now here the reference to a mountain and feeding her son the reference is that uh, the area that uh, she covers the area that she is in the area that she rules it is the area that she rules like forever uh, with very strong energy and uh, that is the area where uh, she doesn't let anybody come in so that's the area where she she rules and she doesn't let anybody come in so that is the area of that rakshasi and she's feeding her son which means her son is around and her husband definitely is on his work doing that those wrong things again now here uh, <coughs> where they um saw the rakshasi what else did say did they see and that shows about how strong this rakshasi is so she was breathing and with the power of her breath the elephants the wild elephants were actually flown away uh, far into the wild far into the wild forest now here uh, the reference of her breath uh, throwing away the big elephants into the uh, far far forest is actually where for anim animal is strength right animal um, uh, elephant is strength elephant is power that whenever anybody who is into the right kind of energy who has the power also authority also comes to actually address this rakshasi or uh, to challenge this rakshasi or to bring out the truth of this whole situation and system they are thrown away they are thrown away with such a push that they don't come back and this can be transfers this can be <coughs> those things that happen into the defense system or the police system or all of that that they are thrown away now then there was a reference that lions were sleeping in the ear cavity of that rakshasi now lions lions is just as lion is also nine lions roar very very strong and uh, lions are strength also right and when you talk about lion sleeping in somebody's ear cavity that means that um she is actually um deaf to the sound of justice and the people who are serving her her their voice is so strong that any other voice that calls for justice is actually killed with their voice and uh, no nobody can raise their voice for justice or for truth or for asking for any right thing now here there is another reference where deers uh, were sleeping in the cavities of her pores with their calves now <coughs> deers and sleeping in the cavities of her pores with their calves has two references one some innocent people who know that uh, it is only the right way is only or the only way out to keep their children or keep their younger ones safe is to be quiet and just be under the her shelter so that they don't get hunt Uh, hunted and uh, second this is also a reference to those criminals who are small little criminals but they do the crimes and they are saved from all kind of law or the legal system or any action because they are under her energy right so this is what um, this is what how how uh, powerful that rakshasi is or how powerful that system is that no matter how much you and cry people make it will not impact her or her system at all now looking at this the kalki sena got scared now when kalki sena got scared the Kal kalki said that don't worry he gave them reassurance that don't worry we'll win over that and then he said that what whoever uh, the infantry soldier, soldiers are uh, make um, a fort here um, in front of that mountain he said make a fort here and all the infantry soldiers will be in that fort so that they are safe now here i do feel that there is an energy of safety where certain set of people were actually kept away or moved away from that energy of that rakshasi right so a certain set of people were who were who were on foot and this also kind of gives me a reference to police um, where a certain set of people were actually kept away or um, pulled pushed away from taking any action so they could not take any action because they were pushed away into the um, infant uh, into that fort that was made for them now then kalki said that everybody rest of the warriors who are on elephants who are on horses and who are on chariots they should uh, come with me which means only a small set of very thoughtful way only a smart set of people they were they approached uh, this um, um, the system they approached these people they approached this energy now when they approached uh, this energy or when they approached the system and when they approached this rakshasi now what happened um, uh, when they approached this rakshasi uh, rakshasi started screaming with rage she started screaming with rage so strongly that everybody was stunned with that energy now this is a pushback right when and now remember when first voice was raised to bring in 
who an agency how strong was the pushback that came and there also is a reference where she opened her mouth and kalki and all the warriors who were actually accompanying kalki they went into her mouth this is a captive energy this is where the first set of people who came to do something or to ask for something or to check into what is happening they were caged they were put into a particular set so this is how interesting it is and this is how it is actually kind of relating to everything so strongly and uh, with this uh, the next part where, where how did kalki finish her um, is going to be in the next uh, video because this is already 10 minutes i want you guys to understand whenever there is a reference in the beginning at least to finishing somebody or killing somebody it is not literal killing it is just bringing something into notice or bringing in the beginning in that change okay so i will tell you what happened after that and i hope uh, and um, uh, pray that you are getting uh, the resonance or you are able to resonate with these videos and uh, please leave your feedback please share these videos with as many as you can and thank you so much take care bye bye